Hello, welcome back. Here we are reading your comments. The good, the bad, the funny, the depressing, the ignorant, the subjective. Enjoy, and tell me what you think in the comments below. The first comment comes from TikTok. Big bad wolf. Wolf. Do you say that that way? I love this guy. He's funny. Um, and this comment hit home. They aren't making movies and good stories. They are just pushing narratives, identity politics, disguised as member barriers. Exactly. Exactly. I think this comment is very apt and accurate. And I also think this comment touches upon the fact that if you aren't with them, you are shut out. If you dare criticize anything, you are shut out. And it's a ridiculous situation to be in. It just, it really is. Yes, I replied to your comment, but I'm going to reply in a video because your comment's brilliant, by the way. This on every level. The fact that casual fans, non-fans, people aren't fans at all, have picked up on this shift in how media is being presented, film, television, science fiction, fantasy especially. The fact that people outside of sort of the fandom bubble and casual observers are picking up on this says everything, really. It's both fascinating to watch and kind of scary at the same time. But thank you for your comment. You it, Exactly. And here we go. Another one from TikTok and Big Bad Wolf again. I'm hopeful, but Book of Boba was a disappointment. Fett was better in The Mandalorian than his own show. Everything on Amazon has been trash and Disney hasn't. Exactly. This is the whole thing that... They're not really making TV shows. They're making content at this point. That's all. That, that's all it is. There, there is no soul behind it. And often with people like that Kathleen person, who is destroying Star Wars bit by bit, and now will contradict an already established canon. It's a whole big mess. But exactly, they're making content. Now, this was a string of comments that happened over a tweet that I screen grabbed. And I want to say this: if you post something on a public forum. And people use it and talk about it. That's completely fine. And you do not owe anyone an at or interaction in any way, shape or form. The difference with these comments was, A, I don't get the confrontationalness. I, I don't post about people I ain't prepared to take on. Well, I'm not about taking on. I wanted a discussion about the tweet. I also semi-agreed with the tweet. But I thought it was a really bad... Um generalization and then the coward comment just really got under my skin like i i hate that and this person wouldn't have had the nerve to say it to my face so why say it to me in a comment you don't owe anyone in any interaction any discussion or any conversation it's very simple but this it I, it doesn't have to be a battle it doesn't have to be a confrontation i wanted to discuss the tweet with people that i know will discuss it not some blue tick on twitter who wanted interaction and nothing more exactly you hit the nail on the head with here science fiction and fantasy has always been political but it's been intelligent enough to let the reader viewer consumer of that product take away what they want now the focus is so much on an ideological politics that the characters, the stories, the world building and everything gets pushed aside. It ends up becoming hollow and then you have companies who just want to milk franchises till they're dead, Disney with Star Wars, Amazon with Lord of the Rings, and turn them into something that they've never been. That now it just, it's hollow, it's empty, and it shows in the content they're creating. They're not making shows, they're not making movies, they're not writing books, they're making content, and there's a massive difference. So we're back in the dregs of TikTok. It takes a huge amount of racist effort to be sad that POCs will, will exist in a land of make-believe. If you understood Tolkien's work or understood anything about him and his work, you know they do. But they're they're shoehorning in things, and there is plenty of stories they can tell. But at the end of the day, this Amazon show is going to be nothing but filler content and crap. And it looks it. And I'm really kind of sick of this broad generalization. The criticism of Tolkien, this criticism of this sort of um, Secrets of the Rings, whatever it's called, is nothing to do with race. 
it's to do with disrespecting and bastardization of Tolkien's work. You are clueless. Get a life. So this comment came from a regular uh, commenter on my channel. And yeah, I do mention will be cancelled a lot. It's an in-joke with a subset of my small viewership. That That's all it is. And... I, I get that. I get that you think it's fair, but it depends on the person. It depends on their Twitter settings, and I don't engage humans on Twitter now. Twitter is a cesspit. Like, for want of a better word, Twitter is where intelligent conversation and intellect go to die. And I don't want the bite from the audience. At all. I, I just wanted to have a discussion. That's it. With people I know I can have a discussion with. Because also, and I'm going to be blunt about this, my main my main Twitter account, Bald Book Geek, is algorithmically dead. And I have no clue why. And no one will see it, so I won't have a discussion. Now, this comment came from Dauntless Reader, who has made multiple accounts on TikTok. I have all the screenshots. I have countless things. And if he comes after me again, I will be making a very public video about it. But... This comment is the most idiotic thing. And what he gets flustered that he can't change my mind. That he can't sway me to agree with him. And he gets really upset and plays the victim that no one that someone doesn't agree with him. And it's just pathetic at this point. Like, get over it. Not everyone's going to agree with you. We're all big boys here. And if you want to be treated and have a discussion like an adult, I'm more than willing but you just want to scream at me in the corner and cry about it. And let's end this video on a nice comment. Go woke and go broke. They ruin the Wheel of Time. What's one more legendary fantasy series ruined? Uh, big bad woofed. I exactly. Um, they just, they don't care about the content. They just want to, you know, they're not writers. They're not people involved. They're activists and that's the disconnect. And they can't separate themselves and their wish fulfillment from what they're creating. And it's really sad. I mean, Wheel of Time was atrocious. And I mean that. It was absolutely bloody atrocious. And it, it was bad. And I have no hope for Lord of the Rings at all. Because this so far is shaping up just to be all but in a name. And looks like a CW show.